Welcome to the owner webinar series. I am your host, host Jesse Zhao. Thank you for being here with me today. It's week four of the webinar series and we're making a small adjustment moving forward. We'll be on a bi-weekly basis, still on Thursdays at this time in order to deliver you even better quality. If this is the first time you're joined owner webinars, it's a series of educational and inspirational workshops designed specifically for small businesses and entrepreneurs. Every week, we'll focus on a different subject, invite a different speaker, and sometimes even try out different formats. And this is our way to say thank you to the community. Owner is a digital business launch platform, and thanks to your trust and help, in the last couple of years, we've helped over 15,000 businesses to get started in Canada. So during this difficult time, it's only our way to give back to the community and the people who have been supporting us all along. All of these webinars are completely free and they are designed for you. That's why your feedback is very important to us. There's a survey linked ping to the chat top of the chat box on your screen. And please let us know how you like it um, and what else you want to learn about. We will do our best to make it better and better for you. In the last couple of weeks, we've learned quite a bit. We learned how to do social media marketing. We've learned men mental health and the best practices. We've interviewed a successful entrepreneur who moved his business online. And this week, we're diving into the space of e-commerce, selling stuff online. As more businesses are moving online, it's critical to know correctly how to set up a proper shop so that you can sell your products and service online. And who else is doing it better than the one and only Shopify? That's why today we invited Tim from Shopify to walk us through their platform, show us how to set up a shop as well as how to list your products or services. Welcome, Tim. Tim, are you Hello. there? Hi, hey, how are you, you today? Good, can you see me? I can't see you. That's okay. I see you in your screen and that's what matters. So good afternoon, everyone. Good morning, depending where you're joining us from. As Jesse said, my name is Tim and I run our community engagement programs here in Toronto for Shopify. Um, what this means is that our team works with a lot of different business associations, just like owner and other uh, business groups and merchants to help people get online and to help them set up their businesses and be more successful as online entrepreneurs and as merchants. Uh, before uh, the community engagement and community management um, efforts here in Toronto, I actually worked at Shopify for over two years with Shopify Plus. Shopify Plus is our enterprise uh, tier of, uh, of, of uh, Shopify plans where we work with a number of large brands uh, that are um, seriously leveraging the online best practices to help them sell. So my background really is in digital marketing, e-commerce strategy, um, advisory, things like that. So today I'm really happy to be here uh, and to help uh, teach everyone a little bit more about Shopify, whether you've heard of Shopify before or you haven't heard of Shopify before. We're going to go over what is Shopify, what can you do with it, uh, what you can sort of power your business with using Shopify. And then last but not least, we're going to actually go through a live demo. So I'm going to share my screen and actually demo for everyone what the back end of Shopify looks like if you are a Shopify merchant and even show everyone how to add your very first product onto Shopify. So that's what uh, our next uh, about 55 minutes together looks like. We're of course going to have a lot of uh, time and left over for question and answer. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. I'm going to start sharing my screen, Jesse, if that's cool. Yes. So just before that, by the way, I can see you. I think we all can see you, Tim. So that's good news. Um, and for those of you who are watching us, 
Um, I've received all your questions when you submitted at registration. Thank you. We will cover all of them. But at the same time, if you have more questions or those of you who didn't get a chance to submit your questions, please use the live, ch the live chat to comment or submit your questions. Uh, let us know if you are already a small business owner, maybe, uh, or if you're thinking about starting a business, whether your business is online or offline, anything to, uh, about your business will be super helpful for Tim to uh, guide a conversation and decide what works the best for you. So please, please use the chat, communicate with us. All right, Tim, I'm going to go offline and the floor is yours. Awesome. Thanks, Jesse. So we're going to go over first uh, a high level of what Shopify is and what it can be used for. So for those who aren't aware, Shopify is actually a Canadian company, uh, started about 14, 15 years ago in Ottawa. And in a nutshell, it is a software that, uh, a software platform, I should say, that you use to build and manage your online store. So in a nutshell, Shopify is a cloud-based platform solution that you use to create your store, design your website, host your products, manage your customers, take your orders, manage your inventory, uh, and take payments from your customers all in one end-to-end -end solution. Uh, all of this actually uh, is done without any coding or programming knowledge, which is really the nice thing. So we're going to go over a little bit uh, high level of what Shopify can do. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the uh, ways that you can actually start selling on Shopify, the different channels that you can use to sell through Shopify, and then we'll touch very, very quickly on uh, what it looks like to um, do digital marketing and e-commerce strategy with your Shopify store. All right, so here's Shopify's mission. Make commerce better for everyone. Uh, the company really was started with this in mind. And to this day, this is really the guiding principle that we live by. How can we make commerce easier to do for all entrepreneurs of all sizes, whether you're just starting out or whether you are a Fortune 500 company um, doing millions of dollars of revenue a year? Uh, some fun facts about Shopify. Once again, I, I mentioned we're based in Canada actually started in Ottawa, um, but of course serve clients and businesses all over the world, which is great. Uh, here are some of our larger merchants, uh, some familiar names that you have heard of that run or power their online businesses through Shopify. Brings us to today. Uh, as Jesse mentioned, we're obviously here in tough times during COVID-19 and as businesses have to more and more pivot, uh, they need to get online faster than ever. And it's not something that can wait anymore. So obviously as storefronts are closed, brick and mortar has been paused. Businesses still need to operate and still need to make revenue and make sales. So brings us today um, and why more and more people are signing up to use online e-commerce platforms like Shopify. In terms of actually starting Shopify, we've got a great offer right now. And at the end, I will share a link with how you can get started if you are ready to start a store, but we've got a free 90 day trial that you can start today on Shopify. All you need is your email address and the name of your store. Uh, you don't need a credit card to get started with the 90 day trial. And this used to be 14 days, but it's, it's currently a 90 day trial because of the COVID-19 situation. When you actually start a Shopify store, this is the homepage that you're gonna see. This is really the uh, operating system of your business. The back end here, you can call it your home screen, you can call it your admin. I typically like to say admin, uh, but this is really where you run your entire business out of. So this is the thing that as a business owner, you would look at first thing in the morning, last thing before you go to bed at night. And we're gonna do a walkthrough of what that actually looks like. As I mentioned with Shopify, you can build your entire website, including any pages you have, FAQs about us, et cetera, et cetera. Right, all those pages, blogs, um, all of that can be built right within Shopify and hosted and made available for your customers to come browse. Uh, products, of course, is the building block uh, to uh, any online store, right? The up products that you upload can be physical or digital. And after you upload your products and you set their price and their name and you add a picture and everything like that, you put them into collections and collections really are just groupings of products. And you can think of it as, um, you can think of it as like, uh, 
merchandising your store. Uh, if you were thinking of a brick and mortar or physical store, that's how you merchandise and group your products so that you make it as easy as possible for your customers to find what they're looking for. Shopify comes with a whole bunch of themes. Uh, themes really are these templates that you can use. They're pre-designed, preset, and they are how you build your store on the front end. You build the look and feel of it and what the navigation experience is like for your customers. And you can do all of this, as I mentioned at the top, without any coding or programming experience. So it's a drag and drop editor. You click and drag things around. You can add sections, remove them, shuffle things around, but you can build your whole store just with a really easy drag and drop editor. And again, we'll show everyone quickly how that works in the second half of today's session. Uh, Shopify is also, as I mentioned, a way you can take payments. So Shopify payments is a, a credit card processing gateway. Uh, just like you may be familiar with using like Moneris or something like that in your store, we've got our own, it's called Shopify payments and it accepts all credit card types online. And uh, you can issue refunds, you can manage your orders, uh, you can even accept foreign credit cards through Shopify payments. We can of course also integrate with PayPal. I know that was a question that came up earlier. Uh, so long story short, included with Shopify is a way for you to actually accept money and take payments from your customers. Uh, where are the different areas or places that you can actually sell using Shopify? So as mentioned, Shopify is a way that you build your online store, list your products, manage your customers, manage your orders, etc. What other ways can you actually sell using Shopify? Well, first and foremost, we have the online store as we've talked about, but Shopify also plugs into all these other great channels. So we have a POS system, point of sale, which has its own suite of software, hardware, tap and chip readers, uh, you know, apps for your iPad, things like that, where you can actually run like a register in a physical store. You can connect your Shopify product catalog to Amazon, to Instagram, uh, to Facebook shopping, eBay, uh, all these different places you can actually connect your Shopify product, uh, product catalog to. And so the point of all this is that you can be where your customers are, wherever they are, and whenever they are. Uh, as mentioned, our POS system is um, a really great solution if you run a brick and mortar store. Right now, not terribly relevant, but it, uh, eventually this is going to become more and more of a factor that might actually be really valuable for your business as well. One thing I wanna call out specifically is uh, gift cards. Shopify has the ability to natively issue gift cards. So uh, right now as businesses are all essentially shut down, um, being able to issue gift cards and sell gift cards is so important because as a business, you can still take that revenue uh, and uh, issue people gift cards through email, which they can then redeem later. So it's a way for your customers to support you if you're a local business, and it's a way for you to still collect revenue um, and then perform the service or, or, uh, um, um, or, or product down the line. So gift cards, really valuable. Um, if you're going to be operating an online business today, highly recommend checking out how you can employ a gift card strategy with your customers. Now, we won't talk too much about uh, this today. Normally, when I do this session, I like to take people through uh, a bit more in detail about uh, marketing strategies and tactics uh, that are specific to online commerce, but we're going to skip over um, a bunch of that today because the feedback we've gotten is that more folks want to actually see a live demo or walkthrough of the back end, but we'll still cover it really quickly uh, currently. Uh, E-commerce strategy basics essentially comes down to this thing called the marketing funnel. So if you've been running a business for a while, you already are aware of what this is. Uh, and the same applies when you are doing an online business. You still have all these portions of your marketing funnel, right? And the marketing funnel is like the customer's journey that you want your customers to take and get all the way through. So you have awareness, which basically is how do people find you? How can they actually discover who you are and become aware of your brand and your business? You've got consideration, which just means what things are you doing to convince people to buy from you? How are you generating that trust with your customers so that they should give you their money? 
right? So a lot goes into that, whether it's brick and mortar or an online business. Uh, if you do all that correctly, you're going to get a conversion, which just means someone buys from you. But that's not the end of the journey because we want our customers to end up in the bottom tiers, which we call loyalty and advocacy, or in other words, uh, retention. So are they coming back to you as repeat customers? Are they telling their friends all about you? And every single step of this funnel is unique depending on who you are, depending on the business you're in and your customers, right? And it's not going to be the same if you're selling bikes or if you're selling jewelry or if you're selling t-shirts or if you're selling $5,000, you know, appliances, this will look different depending on the business that you're in. But broadly speaking, we want to put a bit of focus on acquisition retention, making sure that you are doing all the things properly throughout this funnel. That's a conversation for another day. So we're gonna just keep it moving here. Um, talking a little bit about customer acquisition, um, the main takeaway that I want to leave folks with today is that when you are selling online, having a really solid understanding of your value proposition is more important than uh, even when you're selling in brick and mortar. Because when you're selling in brick and mortar, you're able to have people just sort of walk by your store and gain awareness that way. They just walk by on the street and you get that traffic and people are just gonna walk into your store. So that's great. Uh, but when you're selling online, you don't have the advantage of just you know having people walk by on the street. You can't leverage geography as a, um, way to attract your customers. And so you need to go out and get your customers. So it's more important in online business or online commerce, even more so than brick and mortar, to be really laser focused and understand uh, what is your unique value proposition, right? What's the problem that your product solves? What's the pain point that your customers have that you can solve? What's the thing that is unique to you that you do better than anyone? Really having a good solid focus on this and on who your customers are and what they care about uh, is going to be so helpful in helping you target and go out and get your customers. Uh, you, of course, do that in a number of different ways. Uh, content marketing uh, is so important. This is how you speak to your customers. This is how you have a voice online because you can't just count on people to walk into your store and strike up conversation with you or your staff. You've got to put out content that's your voice and that's how you communicate as an online business. So things like blogging, putting up blogs, articles, um, anything that you think might be informative or educational to your customers and what they care about. Of course, maintaining social media. Uh, of course, putting out ads on Google, putting your products on Google, paying Google for listings and clicks. Uh, that's part of the content that you put out, believe it or not. Uh, doing marketing on uh, Facebook. So Shopify has got the ability to actually help you do your marketing and push it through those channels such as Facebook marketing or, or Google marketing. Uh, email marketing, email is not dead, contrary to popular belief. So if you have an email list and people give you their email addresses and say, hey, you can contact me, this is actually one of the best ways to communicate with your customers, to have that dialogue and conversation with them. And once again, uh, crucially, to be able to put your voice out there into the uh, uh, you know uh, internet, which is a big place. So that pretty much sums it up in terms of what the funnel looks like. Some very light, high-level uh, overview into what digital marketing um, is, what you need to do to pay attention to it, uh, and how you can start to target your customers effectively. Uh, in terms of specifically how Shopify helps our merchants do this, we have a ton of resources in place. So not only is our platform something you use to run your business from start to finish, we've got a ton of resources that you can use to help you along that journey. We've got an app store with thousands of apps on there that you download just like you would apps onto your phone. Um, and these uh, help give you extra functionality to your business. Right, they give you extra features and things like that that may not come with your default theme or may not come with your default store build. Uh, we've got a collection of Shopify experts, which are independent third party uh, individuals or small teams, small groups sometimes. They're all over the world, but they are vetted and can provide different types of services on a 
project by project basis. So if you needed someone to help you with your ads, or if you needed someone to, you know, do graphic design for you, or if you needed someone to do some custom programming for you, Shopify experts can help you with that. Uh, we've also got a logo generator. So this is mainly handy if you're just starting out in business, you need a logo, you can create one. It's called Hatchful by Shopify. Similarly, we have a stock photography service called Burst. So you can just Google that, get yourself some nice stock photos. Uh, this is our help center. And so for any questions related to Shopify, this is your first stop. Any questions about how do I do this or where do I find that button or uh, what happens if I click this or anything else like that, the help center is your first point of uh, resource. It's an amazing repository of articles, documents, step-by-step um, -step walkthroughs of how to do anything that you might want to do within Shopify. Always kept up to date, uh, but I highly recommend if you uh, end up being a Shopify merchant, highly recommend just bookmarking our help center and searching through there, just like a Wikipedia, searching through there when you have any questions. Um, and chances are you can you can find exact instructions on how to do the thing that you're looking to do right within the help center. Uh, and of course we do have a support team. So we have a dedicated support team that is available 24 seven. You can instant message them through your Shopify admin on the back end. You can send emails, you can send uh, uh, phone calls and dial into the queue. But if you're a Shopify merchant, you have access to support, uh, technical support, as well as any sort of business advice and coaching, um, feel free to call in and speak with our support gurus. They are really an awesome bunch of people. Uh, we have uh, a bunch of training modules, which I'm actually gonna point people to after the fact. Uh, we have Shopify Compass and on here, this is our web-based portal where you can find live workshops that uh, we host, we can, uh, you'll find webinars, you'll find training courses. And again, the video courses are step-by-step, -step, super helpful and take you through a ton of different um, topics such as how to start your store step-by-step -step, or how to do Instagram marketing or how to um, do basic Google ads. Like any topic you could think of, we've probably got a live video course sorry, not live, a recorded video course that you can watch on your own time, pause it, rewind it, whatever you need, and go through it step by step to help you uh, get your business successful and start making those sales. That brings us to the end of our very quick high level overview of what Shopify is and what you can do with it. I want to point everyone's attention to shopifytoronto.com. As I mentioned at the top of the hour, we are offering a 90 day free trial right now. And if you're interested to sign up for a 90 day trial, you can cancel at any time. Uh, feel free to go to shopifytoronto.com and you can actually sign up for your free trial there. So uh, we're going to move right along here and get to the live demo of the Shopify store and, and backend, the admin. Uh, but if you want to follow along, definitely go to that link and get yourself a store. Okay, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen and we're going to uh, switch things up and bring you to the back end of a store. When you start a store and you log in, you're going to be met with this screen and you should be able to see my screen in just a second. Okay, when you sign up for a Shopify store and you start your trial, you log in and you're gonna see this screen. Everyone's Shopify store gets a something.myshopify.com as the default domain and URL. You of course can replace this later with your own domain in your own uh, uh, web address, but this is the default one that everybody gets when they sign up for Shopify. When you're in the back end here, you're going to see um, a couple of things on the left navigation, and we're gonna go through each of these step-by-step step and, and tell you what they're all about. Uh, this is really the control center, as I mentioned, for your entire store, front end, back end, logistics, everything. The home screen here will give you a quick snapshot into your business, some quick numbers, figures, reports, 
um, suggestions on what's going on. It's just a very quick high level of what's happening with your business. This is my test store. So of course there's nothing in here. We have no sales. And so you're not gonna see a whole lot here, but as your store gains uh, time, experience and data, it'll actually populate here. And you can see everything uh, uh, listed within your admin. If we move along here to the order section underneath home, on the left-hand side, this is where you manage all your orders. Once again, this is a tester store, so there's no orders, but if you have a live store, you're gonna see all your orders listed in here. You'll be able to click into each order individually to open it up and see the details of the order. Who ordered it? Where do they live? What did they order? Uh, what did they pay with? Do they pay with PayPal? Did they pay with credit card? You can fulfill the order within the order details screen. You can refund the order. You can cancel an order edit your order, all of that stuff is gonna be within the orders section of Shopify. So in here, you manage the orders that come in each and every single one from your customers, and of course, fulfill them so that your customers get the products that you're selling uh, delivered straight to their home. Underneath the order section, we're gonna look at products. So products here, this is where you add your products. And as I mentioned, this is the basic building block of your store. You're gonna add products, put them on your site and then make them available for sale. I'm gonna show you very quickly how to add your first product. Once again, all of this stuff is available in our help center. It's all available in our online video courses, but I'll show you really quick what that looks like. So let's just say I'm going to be starting a, uh, a, a store that sells dog costumes, right? I'm gonna call this product dog costume. I'm gonna add a quick description. Buy this for your best friend, okay? I'm going to add a image for my product. You're gonna see that uploaded, got this nice picture. I'm gonna set the price to be 50 bucks. Uh, I'm going to put 10 inventory here because I've got 10 of these sitting in my basement. And I'm just going to set the price to be two kilos because the price that your customers pay for shipping depends on how much uh, it actually weighs. With that all that said, I'm going to tag that customer, uh, tag the product. Sorry, I'm going to tag it uh, shark. And you use tags in a, as a way to actually organize your products and to help build those collections down the line that help you organize and group your products all together. I'm gonna hit save. And just like that, you've created your first product ever on Shopify. So now if we go back, you'll see we've got a product here called Doc Costume, 10 in stock. Cool. Moving along to customers. Again, we have no customers here, but once your store is up and running, you're going to see a lot of that data start to populate. A lot of customers are going to fill in here. You can click into there, view details about that particular customer, how many times have they purchased from you, uh, what's their average order size, what's their address, what's their contact information. All of that information is going to be here within the customer section. You don't need to you know, keep some big uh, contact book or something like that with your customers. It's all going to be stored in here. Analytics. This is, uh, I think, one of the most important sections of your Shopify store. Uh, all of your reports, business data, and insights will populate and live within this section. So we've got dashboards here, such as total sales over time. We can set the time frame to be last 30 days, for example. You got total sales. You have the total number of store sessions or traffic that you've got. Of course, everything is zeroed out right now. Once again, this is a test store, uh, but you get the idea. Once you actually have a store, all of these charts and dashboards will fill in. What's your conversion rate? What's your average order value? How many orders have you had over this time period? What are the top products that were actually sold? Uh, where uh, is the traffic coming from? Right. All this data is available for you. And I think this is so important as a business owner because this helps make decisions. This helps you make insightful decisions about what you should do with your business. Similarly, if you want to jump from dashboards into reports, what we have here is a 
uh, place you can pull up reports that are detailed and get into the nitty gritty. So right now we have, of course, zeros across the board. But as you can see, we can actually dive into the reports and export these as a CSV file. So you can manipulate the data in Microsoft Excel or whatever it is. But you can look at these different reports. You can add different columns and filters. Let's say I was interested in understanding where my customers are from. I would put billing city. And I would actually add another column here to tell me the city that my customers are coming from. So there are thousands of different ways you can combine and customize your reports and data. It really depends on what you need as a business. Cool. Uh, this is a really fun feature. It's called Live View. It just tells you Phil, that's on a live feature. map what's, what's where people right? are and where they're accessing your store from. Uh, we have Shopify uh, marketing section. So as I mentioned in here, there's a couple different ways you can do some Facebook ads. We have Shopify email, which is now available. So lots to do in here, which we can't get into today, but you can help run your marketing uh, from within the marketing section of the admin. The discount section is where you're actually going to add discounts, discount codes. You can set different criteria for those discount codes. Is it a percentage? Is it a fixed amount? Does it apply to the entire order, specific products, right? Is there a minimum purchase amount, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So you can really customize your discounts and make them so relevant to purchase. your customers and relevant to the business that you're trying to run. And the very last thing I wanna show everyone is the online store, how to actually build it in a very quick way. So as I mentioned, there are what's called Shopify themes. Themes are basically just templates that you use to build your store. When you start your Shopify store, the first one you get is going to be called debut. It's just the default standard one. Uh, when you click customize on a theme and you can download other themes, you can purchase some that are premium, you can use the free ones, etc. But when you actually go in to edit your store, it's going to look a bit like this. Okay, when you're in here. Uh, this is where you customize your storefront and you notice that on the left hand side, these are sections that you can actually just uh, drag things around. So, you know, you can just kind of move things up and down your home page if you'd like, put it there, right? Let's say I wanted to put this picture at the very, very top. I'm just going to go ahead and drag it to the top and put it here. Let's say I want to put, uh, I want to add a section for a featured product. I'm going to add that. The product that I've created, of course, is dog costume. We're going to select that. Okay, and then we're just going to move this all the way up to right here. So as you can see, just in a couple seconds, I've moved stuff around. I've shuffled my whole site around. I'm going to save that. And so this took me literally just a few seconds. I've saved it. Now we're going to go back and see what it actually looks like live to your customers. You can preview your your uh, your theme, your store, and so this is what your customers will actually see when they come to your site. And you notice it's set up exactly how I uh, moved those blocks around. You can of course add stuff to cart, and then when your customer is ready, they can check out the checkout. The shopping cart, all of that is included with Shopify. That uh, pretty much brings us to the end of our Shopify demo, short and sweet. Uh, this is just really scratching the surface, right? There's a lot that you can do with your store and with your business. Um, but the main takeaway here is that everything from your orders to your products, to your customers, to designing your store, to taking payments is all going to be managed within Shopify on the back end here, the admin. So with that, I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Uh, Jesse, I'm going to turn it over to you quickly um, so that we can engage with the audience a little bit, maybe do a little question and answer period. Uh, but that brings us to the end of our demo, to the end of our overview of Shopify.
Definitely. Thank you so much, Tim. Um, it's it's a lot of information all at once, I know. Um, and I've got a, quite a few people asking me whether the presentation or the webinar uh, recording will be available after uh, today. So the answer is yes. The entire webinar is being recorded right now and will be automatically uploaded into owner's uh, YouTube channel. Uh, which is the channel you're on right now. So just make sure that you you come back and uh, keep checking out the, the video. Um, so let's just dive into the questions. We have a couple of questions from the live stream. At the same time, we also have a whole lot of uh, registration questions. So let me just start with the registration questions and then we'll go to the live stream. Um, first question, and if you are on the live stream, a couple of questions I might need your clarification for Tim to, un to answer you correctly. So the first question is how to set up shipping when drop shipping? Good question. So if you're drop shipping, typically you're gonna do that through an app and uh, the drop shippers that will provide the products and inventory for you to sell will plug directly into your Shopify store with an app and then when customers check out, that shipping will be calculated automatically for the customer based on the distance they are, based on the weight of the product, but that shipping will be calculated automatically and the customer pays for that amount of uh, shipping. They also pay for the price of the product that you set. And then you as the business owner will in turn pay the drop shipper for all of those costs. So it's all calculated based on the drop shipper. So they, they really set what the rates are and just present those to the customer. Cool. Um, there's actually a very similar question to that and not sure if you want to add anything, Tim. Question is how to do drop shipping. A lot of different ways you can do drop shipping. Um, there are some services that you can use that are platforms and apps themselves built up to manage drop shipping. So you can plug into their product catalog uh, you can sell those products on your site. Um, you can do print on demand. There are a lot of different services that do print on demand for t-shirts and things like that. You can also drop ship if you have your own um, connections or your own partnerships with a warehouse that has products. So you can actually ask them to ship something on behalf of you to your customer. So a lot of different ways to do drop shipping. I don't have a single answer for that, um, but there are a number of helpful apps that can help you do that. For sure. One, sorry, oh, sorry, go ahead. One of them on Shopify is an app called Oberlo, O-B-E-R-L-O. And this app actually plugs into the product catalog from AliExpress or Alibaba. And you can pull products straight from that catalog. There are hundreds of thousands of products and you can pull it straight from there start selling them on your Shopify store and they will ship direct to your customer. Yeah, and just to add to that, if you're uh, interested in learning more about shipping specifically, how to ship, how to set up and how to integrate into your online stores, we do have a webinar coming up and not the next one, the one following to explain everything about shipping. So stay tuned. Uh, on top of your chat box, there's another link. That's a page for all the owner webinars all the uh, past as well as the upcoming webinars. So if you're interested in shipping, make sure you sign up for that one. Okay, let's get back to Shopify. And uh, next question, opening more than one Shopify store for different brands. I guess a uh, question is to, to ask you uh, how to open more than one Shopify stores, I guess, for different brands. Yeah, you open them just as if you would any other store. So you can open as many Shopify stores as you'd like. Each of them is its own subscription. Each of them is its own fee, but you can open as many as you'd like. So if you have two brands or two different companies or three companies, you can certainly open a different store for each one. Sounds good. Uh, this next question is a two part. Uh, I think the question is how to, what's the easiest way for teaching online and receive payments internationally. Um, and then he also asked a question about PayPal, but Tim, you just addressed it. Shopify does integrate with PayPal. So uh, what's the easiest way to uh, for him if he's uh, teaching online? Yeah, so 
you can offer your your digital services as a product on Shopify. And you know, when I added that product, which was a dog costume, that's a physical product. So you'd actually ship that to your customer. But if you wanted to sell services, coaching, training, whatever online, um, you can actually sell it as a digital product. So you would, you would still create a product, still put a picture and everything like that, put the title, set the price, whatever it is. And then when someone buys it, they check out in the exact same way. But then you just need to, of course, later on follow up to deliver the service, whatever that is, could be teaching, could be coaching. You know, you might give them a phone call to, you know, to, to do the coaching, whatever that looks like, however you fulfill that, however you get your product across, um, you're going to do that, but you would still list it just like any other product. So I guess in, in that shop, the person can describe how the service is being delivered, whether it's through a link or uh, receive a phone call. Yes, exactly. Or you could do a, a webinar, you could do a Google Hangouts, you could do a Zoom link just like this, you know, whatever works for you. Awesome. That's good to know that not only you can set up a shop for you know, actual tangible products, but also for services as well. All right, let's get to the next question. How do I start and what is the best option for a new business? Is it e-market, hub, website, or other? Uh, well, how you start with Shopify, you just set yourself up with a store. Um, I would recommend having your own store as a first step. You can always plug into different platforms afterward, different things like Amazon you can plug into, you can plug into eBay, but I would recommend always having your own store to start. Uh, and that's where you, you know, that's the central sort of location that you manage everything else from. All right, hopefully that helps. Um, and if you have any follow-up questions, make sure to use the live chat as well. And the next one, I might need your clarification. The question is just 78 UT, I'm not sure if that's a typo. Um, and then uh, the one after that says shop after plus portal, how it works. We'll need your clarification as well before Tim can answer that. Um, but this one, I think we can. What are the e-commerce optimizers platforms. So quote unquote, e-commerce optimizers platforms. What are these available at market? What's uh, your suggestion? And uh, he added some explanation. Optimizers platform means easy e-commerce shop builder, just like Wix is to make websites. Uh. Is that clear? Yeah, I think the question he's asking is what's out there that you can use to build a store? And the answer is Shopify. <laughs> <laughs> the best option. <laughs> Great, um, we uh, covered all the questions submitted through the registration. And I do know we have a couple of questions. I believe Ko has a question. Um, is there additional cost if uh, we add further sales channels? Um, so no, not from Shopify side of things, there might be an additional cost because you might have to pay Facebook or Google or whatever it happens to be, but those would be, you know, handled separately with those other platforms. But in terms of on Shopify side of things, no, you can push your products and catalogs to other channels free of charge, um, such as Facebook, such as eBay, such as Amazon or Google shopping. Um, if there are any costs, it will be, it will be, um, between the business and the and the other platforms directly. Amazing. Um, with that said, unless anybody else have more questions, I think we've, I believe we have already covered everyone's question at this time. We still have a little bit of time. Actually, this is the first time we finish early. So is there anything else, Tim, you think would be beneficial for people to know whether they are an existing uh, owner or just um, start thinking about ideas of starting a business? Cool. Uh, so it's great that we got through all the questions. I wanted to leave lots of time at the end for Q&A. Looks like we've got plenty. So if anyone has any other questions, don't hesitate to put them into the chat on the YouTube live there. Uh, in terms of other things, just to keep in mind, um, I think the best advice that I could give is to really, if you're thinking of starting a business, the best way to do it is just to dive right in. It's just to get into there and to start. Uh, there's so much that can be done 
um, that I think people often sometimes will get analysis paralysis, right? They'll get stuck trying to do too much research instead of jumping right in. So I would recommend if you're just getting started, jump right in with the drop shipped business and learn by doing and um, start building your customer base, start building an audience, right? Set up some social media, set up your Instagram or Twitter or Facebook and start building an audience by putting out content. Speak to the people out there. Um, the most successful brands are the ones that are able to actually build an audience, generate some sort of um, brand awareness with their customers and, and loyalty because of the voice that they put out and because of the content that they put out. So yeah, in a nutshell, I would say just get into it and start talking to your customers, start finding out who your customers are, um, get yourself on social media, start having that discussion and that dialogue <laughs> with your customers. Somebody sounds very happy in the background. <laughs> yes, that's my roommate. We're all working from home these days. So and I think this time gives us a very unique opportunity to get personal as well. So it's not all business. That's what I that's what I like about the silver lining in all of this. And if you haven't started a business yet, I think you'll be very happy uh, seeing the next slide as well. So owner has a gift for just the attendees today for the webinar. If you're thinking about starting a business or starting a, another business, uh, use the coupon code online 50, you can get $50 off. And of course, if you start a business banking account with RBC through uh, which is our partner, then you can get even more refund for your incorporation costs as well. Thank you again, Tim. And this is wonderful. It's very helpful. Um, and I uh, hopeful information and resources as well. We'll be sure to send out in a follow up email as well for you. Uh, as I mentioned, the video will be uploaded. So if you want to come back and rewatch uh, in order to digest, and it's a lot of information all at once, um, all of the, the video will be uploaded into the, the owner YouTube channel. So don't forget to let us know uh, how you think about it. If there's anything else, else you want to learn about through the survey link on top of the chat. We will also share the link in the follow-up email as well. Next time, not the next week, two weeks from now, we will have a completely different format and a completely different subject. We'll invite an entrepreneur who had no choice but to be forced uh, to adapt. But surprisingly, not only she sustained, but also thrived during this time. So stay tuned. And uh, I can't wait to find out more about that. On that note, thank you, Tim, again. And uh, we hope to see you in the future. Awesome. Thanks everyone for attending. Thank you, Jesse and owner for setting this up. Take care. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Have a safe evening.